It's time once again to tackle five more NFT games that require no real investment. We've said it a lot of times, more and more NFT games will be popping up in the future. A lot of these will be free to play and play to earn. That's the beauty of competition because it breeds more and more variety. That being said, let's tackle the game Max five more NFT games that you can play with no investment needed. Number one, Nino Kuni Cross Worlds. Let's start with a game that can be considered a popular franchise. We're talking about Ni no Kuni Cross Worlds. The Ni no Kuni franchise began around 2010 for mobile devices and phones in Japan. There are a couple of more games released and the recent ones have made their way to consoles and PC. However, let's focus on Cross Worlds, which is available for Android and iOS devices. The gameplay is a third-person action-adventure. The main grasp of these games is that they are your traditional JRPGs. Cross Worlds has an emphasis on the story and a couple of them to be more precise. It's also an open-world game where you have a ton of options to customize your character later on. Now, let's get to the part where you can make some money. There are three important types of currencies that you need if you want to make money. The Black Diamonds are the in-game special currency. Like any mobile game, these are those currencies that you can pay with real money, but you can always get them in-game for free. The actual currencies that you will need to farm to turn them into tokens are Territes and Asterites. Getting Asterites can be done by doing quests and events related to PvP. Territes can be obtained by doing daily quests, chaos fields, and familiar adventure. Once you've farmed enough Territe or Asterite, you can then convert them to the game's token. The token is the one that will be used to make money. Before you convert the Territe or Asterite, you need a specific amount, and also a specific amount of Black Diamonds. That's your hurdle right there, which is the Black Diamond currency. You can't farm them as fast as Territe and Asterite unless you buy those black diamonds with real money, which equates to the investment. Cross Worlds is a fun game, but without investment, it may take time for you to turn profit. Cross Worlds is a good example of a JRPG honing the NFT aspect properly like our next game on the list. Number 2. Titan Hunters Number 2 on our list is Titan Hunters. Immediately, the graphics remind you of Minecraft like a ton of other games out there. Titan Hunters is a game where it mixes a third-person shooter and dungeon crawler. It's a roguelike game where you can play your character as it traverses through dungeons, beat monsters, and get loot after everything is done. There are actually two modes in the game, with the first one being Adventure Mode. It's your typical single-player experience where you traverse different areas and do your thing. You get rewards from completing dungeons and missions as well as defeating bosses. The other mode is co-op, which is self-explanatory. You can play with other people online and take up dungeons with stronger enemies but with better loot. The MVP will also gain some additional rewards that they can get. Build and form your team to suit and complement each member's role and contribution. When it comes to earning without investments, it's very easy but just takes a bit of time. You can farm gold and gems in the game, and depending on the amount of time you spend can determine how much you earn. Once you have the required amount of gems or gold, you can play the gotcha system. Spending your gems or gold can net you an NFT item from the gotcha system. It isn't always guaranteed that you get an NFT, but that's all part of the ploy. If they'll be handing out NFTs all the time, then the market might crash, and nobody wants that, right? Please say you don't want that. Just play the game, earn gems and gold, and try your luck in the gacha, and you may be able to mint some NFTs and earn money. If Titan Hunters isn't your type of shooter game, then the next one might hook you in. Number 3. Eevee.io Just as promised, Eevee.io is a shooting game that you might want to check out for a play-to-earn game. This is a first-person shooter that may not have the high-end graphics that you're looking for, but it's playable, fun, and you can earn some money. You can play by simply going to the website when you're playing on PC. You can play as a guest for the sake of fun, but you need to register and log into your account because you can't get the rewards whenever you play the game. There are different modes to choose from, like Team Deathmatch, Free For All, and a whole lot more. There's even a Battle Royale mode if you're into that kind of gameplay. 
When it comes to making money, depending on the mode, there will be epic or legendary whitelist tokens that will be spread around the map. You need to get as many tokens as you can. When you hold on to those tokens, when the time comes for them to be minted, that's when you can earn some money. You have to stay updated when it comes to when these tokens will be up as well as when they'll be minted. EV.io is a fun game to invest some of your time and earn some money if you're fortunate enough, especially if you're good with FPS games. Speaking of FPS games, guess who plays a lot of them? Streamers. Number 4. Clash of Streamers Streamers are taking up the number 4 game, which is Clash of Streamers. However, this isn't a game about popular streamers. This is a game about you, should you want it to be. The concept is that your character will have your face and it will be minted as an NFT. Also, you can't make multiple accounts with your face on them because that can be a bit risky. Plus, you're linking your details to your wallet and more. The game itself is a turn-based strategy game where you can play solo to upgrade your character and pets or play against other players or the streamers streamers as they are called. Earning the in-game currency called Krypton with a C is your target. Once you have enough of the required Krypton with a C, you can cash out and earn. Earning Krypton with a C, okay you get it now, can be done when you play the different modes available. The other thing is that if you follow other streamers on their social media sites and if they also follow you, it will allow both parties to earn Krypton to a certain degree. If you love the customization of this game and its quirkiness, then you might like cards on our final game. Number 5. Skyweaver The last game on our list is Skyweaver, which can be played on PC, Android, and iOS devices. Skyweaver is just one of the many TCG or trading card games around. Much like these games, you compile your deck and play against another player. It's pretty straightforward, and you can get a deck of cards for free. The free or base cards cannot be sold or traded to make money. Using those cards without any investment can be possible because if you're good, you can win matches and earn some better cards later on. The better or stronger your cards get, the higher your chance of winning is. While you might not get the best cards right away without investing, just hang in there and you can make it. Speaking of making money, the formula is the same as other TCG NFT games. You can sell some of the cards that you have earned as long as they are available to do so. Renting out your cards is also another means of making money. Naturally, if you want to get the best cards, investment is needed, but you can just hone your skills and master the gameplay so that you can beat players with better decks as long as you know what to do and without any form of investment. And that's it for 5 more NFT games that require no investment. If you like what we did, stay tuned for more because oh my god we've got way more of these videos in the series, I promise you, there's so many of them out there. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified when our next video pops up on the game mag.